Hey friends welcome new video of what if story that is what if Naruto x Z and x Riku movie. But before we start, if you want more amazing stuff like this, then be sure to subscribe to our channel and like this video. Also if possible share this video with your friends. Now without wasting any more time, let's begin the story. A fatal purpose of pure belief, a place where dreams cross with reality, a spacious realm on the brink of oblivion, through their actions lead destiny and promises. Light the ultimate source of purity, a light that is pure can shine through even the darkest darkness, the light so comforting and warm it welcomes anyone who walks its path, although the path of light leaves many scars. Darkness the ultimate source of anger and power, darkness is always there and is forever changing, its cold silence comforts the misguided and gives them purpose, a path that holds only one pair of footsteps, for darkness is a lonely road. Light thinks it is absolute, darkness thinks it is always the answer, both are attributes of pure contradiction, without darkness there is no light and without light no one will ever find their way out of the dark. A strong heart that is true to itself can be suitable for light, but a heart filled with hate and vengeance can create strong darkness. The story that is told now is one of great importance, it is a tale about, well I can't really tell you. Song and Naruto laid in his bed happy to be back in his village, it has been three years since he left to train with Jiraiya, through his adventures with the Toad Mountain Sage he witnessed a lot of events that a normal person could never say they have saw, one of the memories was the vastest of all, it was the last time he saw his teammate. Flashback Naruto came back from the hot springs, looking around he saw that his sensei has already set up camp, he went inside a tent that looked like a toad, he stared as he saw his sensei putting the finishing touches on his book, Jiraiya turned around to see the smiling Jinchuriki, Naruto you're just in time to read the finishing touches on my new novel Jiraiya said cheerfully. A new novel, I thought you were finishing the third Makeout Paradise book? Naruto asked, I still am but I took a break, I have been working on this side project ever since we got Tsunade to be Hokage Jiraiya said, he handed the book to Naruto, Naruto was shocked to see the illustration on the cover, it was a picture of him, Kakashi, Sakura and Sasuke. The book was titled The Tale of Naruto Uzumaki Book 1, a story about me? Naruto said completely starstruck. Yeah your own book, I spoke to Kakashi and some of the villagers about your adventures, they may not be 100% accurate but I think you will like some of the new kicks in this book Jiraiya said. Naruto opened the book to the front page to see him as a baby, he briefly read the first page and was amazed at all the detail of his past. How did you get all this? It's awesome but I doubt the villagers pay this much attention to me for tea to be this accurate Naruto said. I had to ask a more personal person to you about this, you should know who I am talking about Jiraiya said chuckling. You must have asked Uruka sensei Naruto said his voice starting to pick up and his face getting more excited, Jiraiya gave him a simple nod. This is awesome, now I will be famous Naruto said with glee. Hold on there mister, high sprung I am not publishing this book until later consider it a gift when you become Hokage Jiraiya said. But that will take forever even so it's worth it, you would get a lot more readers if you were Hokage. Naruto bowed his head in defeat I guess you're right. There is some Ramon on the table, you might want to eat it before it gets cold Jiraiya said. Later that night Naruto woke up, Naruto with orange and blue jumpsuit not Shippuden, he went to the woods for some training, he always felt that he needed to be one step above Jiraiya when it came to training. He ran through the forest jumping from tree to tree swinging from vine to vine like if he was Tarzan. He heard laughter coming from a distance, he looked down to see a hooded man running through the forest. He jumped down and tried to catch him but the hooded man disappeared. Naruto then looked down to see a book on the ground, it was a hard covered book with a strange cross like symbol on it, another side another story Naruto read the front cover, he then opened the book, the book flashed a purple light, Naruto immediately dropped the book. Just then more laughter was echoed throughout the forest. Naruto immediately drew out his kanai, show yourself. Naruto demanded, the bushes started to rumble, out from the darkness from the forest came the unexpected, it was Sasuke. Sasuke? Naruto said astonished to see his rouge former teammate, the Sasuke in question was wearing his black outfit he wore in the chunin exams. Sasuke only laughed at Naruto as he summoned an all black sword from the shadows, he pointed his sword at Naruto. Song. 13th reflection what are you trying to do? Naruto asked. Sasuke then ran towards Naruto chuckling evilly, he slashed Naruto in the stomach. Naruto used a substitution jutsu, Naruto then appeared in a tree, so this is how you wanna play huh Naruto said using the hand signs for shadow clone jutsu, 20 Naruto's then appeared from thin air all surrounding Sasuke, they all charged at Sasuke. 
Sasuke only chuckled as he raised his sword to the sky and summoned lightning to destroy the clones. He then looked up to see Naruto jumping down with a chakra spiral in his hand, Rasengan. He shouted as the attack hit Sasuke. Sasuke then surged black electricity throughout his body and shocked Naruto. Naruto immediately pulled back. Sasuke then growled as he slashed a wave of black electricity at Naruto. Naruto rolled out of the way. He then summoned 15 more shadow clones which all ran and jumped to attack Sasuke. Sasuke only chuckled as he slashed a wave of black electricity at the clones destroying them. Naruto attempted to use Rasengan once more but this time Sasuke surged black lighting through his hand and grabbed Naruto's hand. He then stabbed Naruto in the heart. Naruto felt his life coming to an end. His sight went black and he heard his voice giving him two options. Die here or chose to keep fighting I will never give up Naruto shouted as his body glowed white light. Before he learned to go four tails. The light forced Sasuke to jump back. When Naruto got up he was holding a keyblade completely white and red with a tail as a keychain. It looked similar to the Lionheart keyblade but a fox version. Keyblade name. Prophecy. What's this? Naruto asked. The voice echoed through his head the guide that will show you the way to light. Naruto then went into his fighting stance, holds keyblade sideways while in front of him, Sasuke ran towards him with his sword filled with black lightning, Naruto held his keyblade forward and shot a beam of light at Sasuke's heart, the Sasuke in question started to disappear. Song and Naruto then looked at his keyblade and noticed it started to disappear, he then looked around to see if anyone else was there, he turned around to see nothing, looked hard and you might not like what you find said a strangely polite voice. Naruto turned around to see the guy in black from before, he was a little taller than Naruto, Naruto noticed he was holding the book that he found on the floor, hey wait Naruto said but was too late, the being teleported away. Flashback end. That was the last time I saw Sasuke and the last time I saw that weapon, I know that couldn't have been the real Sasuke, then again a lot of things went weird that day Naruto thought. Naruto got up to go to the bathroom to take a leak. As he began to unzip his pants he heard something in the shower he opened the curtain to see nothing there, he then looked on the ground to see a shadow moving inside the ground, what? Naruto immediately drew his kanai out, the shadow then took the form of a creature that was short and all black with yellow bt eyes. The creature jumped in the air, Naruto threw a kanai at the creature and destroyed it. More and more heartless appeared, Naruto threw more kanai at the cretans, one of the creatures that were blue instead of black ran outside. Naruto quickly got dressed and went outside, the creature took the form of a moving shadow on the floor and ran away to the forest. Naruto chased the creature outside of the village, little did he know he was being watched by Jiraiya, so it's time the toad mountain sage said under his breath. Naruto ran outside of the village, the creature resurfaced from the ground, what do you guys want Naruto shouted, just then a dark portal appeared in front of him, he saw a boy about his height, he was wearing a black and red bodysuit, he had an all black mask that covered his whole face. Naruto the boy said with his dark smooth voice. Who are you? Naruto shouted, you seek the existence no as Sasuke don't you? The unnamed boy said. Sasuke. Where's Sasuke? Naruto shouted, irrelevant, you should be more concerned with yourself Jinchuriki the unknown boy said with no emotion in his voice once so ever. Shut up Naruto said charging into battle, his kanai turned into a keyblade and he slashed the unknown boy, the boy disappeared and reappeared behind him. Naruto then noticed he was holding a keyblade, I see, so now you have a keyblade the masked boy said. The masked boy raised his hand and summoned more blue creatures from nothingness, decimate him the masked boy said. Naruto swung his keyblade with great force, he sliced and diced the creatures until there was noting left. The masked boy then summoned a keyblade of his own, you aroused my interest Jinchuriki, I wonder how strong you really are the masked boy said walking slowly toward Naruto, just then another dark portal appeared. This time it was a boy wearing a similar bodysuit with silver hair, he slashed the masked man and went into his fighting stance, the masked boy then jumped back and went into his fighting stance. Song. Riku theme you, Mickey told me you were destroyed the silver haired boy said. Darkness can never truly be destroyed the masked boy said, the silver haired boy then opened a dark portal, he then quickly appeared behind Naruto and knocked him out, I can't have you interfere the silver male said, he then threw Naruto through the dark portal. I can't allow someone like you to exist, there is enough darkness in this universe the silver haired male said. Are you still afraid of the dark or are you just ashamed that you could not save your friend from eternal slumber the masked boy said. That's enough Riku said jumping in the air and blasting a dark fireball at the boy. The masked boy slashed through the fireball, Sora shall sleep forever, the world will be taken over by darkness, 
Not even you can stop it the masked boy said teleporting behind the silver haired boy. He slashed through the silver haired body reverting him back to his normal state. KH1 outfit. You use the darkness and you still fear it. How pathetic. I will leave you to your own self pity the masked boy said teleporting away. The silver haired boy was trying to catch his breath. There is no way I will let you win. This is not over. My friend will wake up no matter what I have to do the silver haired boy said. Riku Song and Naruto woke up in a small room. He was surrounded by three strangers. One was a husky boy with a red shirt over a white one. He had a spiky flat top with a red headband over it. The girl was small skinny with an orange shirt and light brown pants. She was a brunette. The tallest one was a boy wearing campo pants and a campo vest. He had a black shirt under the vest. You're awake the girl said. Where am I? Asked Naruto. You're in Twilight Town the girl said. Who are you? Asked the husky boy. I am Naruto. Naruto Uzumaki. Naruto? The girl said in shock. Naruto looked at the confused girl. Is it my name that confuses you? He asked. Not at all it is just that, never mind, my name is Olet the girl said. I am Pence nice to meet you Naruto the husky kid said. The kid wearing campo just looked at the boy in disgust. HMMH he made a snobbish glare and went outside. Naruto just stared at the campo boy who left, don't worry about him, he's always like that at first Pence said. Naruto then looked to his left to see his cloths neatly folded, what happened? Naruto asked. We found you in the forest, you slept here for a week Pence said. Your cloths were dirty so I cleaned them for you Olet said. Thank you, do you know how I can get back home? Naruto asked. Where do you live? Asked Pence. I live in the hidden leaf village in the fire country Naruto said. Pence and Olet stared at Naruto with a puzzled look. You don't know about Konoha? Naruto asked. No offense but I have never heard of such a place Olet said. Naruto sighed he never thought he would be so far away from home that no one would have an idea of where or what Konoha is. Konoha is one of the most well-known villages in the planet and these strange people never heard of it. Naruto got up and grabbed his cloths, he put them on starting with his pants and ending with his headband, he then noticed he had no shriken or kanai. Pence had a puzzled look on her face, what does that symbol on your head mean? Pence asked. Oh this thing, this means that I am a leaf shinobi Naruto said, Pence eyes widened wait you're a ninja. Pence said his voice raising with excitement. Yup I am a leaf genin Naruto said with pride. If you're a ninja do you know any ninja tricks Olet said her face lighting up with excitement. Yup. Naruto put his hands in the sign for shadow clone. Shadow clone jutsu Naruto shouted as he created three of him. Pence and Olet looked at the three Narutos and hate feelings of shock and slight fear. Wait your triplets Pence said. No it's not like that. This is my shadow clone jutsu. I can make clones of myself Naruto said. Are they permanent Olet said, well not really Naruto said breaking his jutsu, the two Narutos next to him disappeared into smoke. Pence and Olet turned around to see their Campo friend coming back into the clubhouse. Impressive moves kid the Campo kid said now interested in Naruto, Naruto just glared at the boy. Hey don't look at me like that the Campo boy said, Naruto's glare tightened. Look maybe we started off on the wrong foot, look I am Hainer the Campo boy said extending his hand for a handshake. Naruto looked at Hainer and then turned his attention to Pence and Olet who were giving him the signal to shake his hand, Naruto Naruto said shaking Hainer's hand. How about we show you around town Hainer said with a smile. Traverse Town. The silver haired boy sat on a staircase in Traverse Town Market District, he was approached by short humanoid mouse creature, he had all red outfit with many pockets and zippers, round ears and a huge friendly smile, gosh Riku I find it strange that we're meeting up so early the humanoid mouse said. Your Majesty I think he is getting worse Riku said. I told you before Riku you can call me Mickey said the newly revealed Mickey, anyway how are you and Diz progressing? Little to none, ever since he fell asleep after the battle with Zehanort's Heartless he has been sleep with no fidgeting or any signs of waking up Riku said. And there is still the question about the organization, with Sora now sleep they are more likely to become more active Mickey said. I don't think that is a fight we can win. There are 13 of them and only 2 of us, eventually we will fall victim to their onslaught, not to mention the resurfacing of Vanitas Riku said. Vanitas is back? Mickey asked, yes, it was in the ninja world where I spotted him, I have reason to believe he is not working alone Riku said. Who do you think he is working for Mickey said, I have no clue, my suspicions say it is someone from that world, I don't really know the mechanics of how that world works to come up with a full assumption Riku said. Gosh this sure is troublesome Mickey said putting his hand on his head. There is another keyblade wielder Riku said, who is it Mickey asked. I don't know, 
All I know is that I left him in the forest in Twilight Town and when I got there he was gone Riku said. He must be the second hero of light Mickey said, a second hero I thought Sora was the hero of light? Riku said in shock. It is true that Sora is the hero of light, but since he was put to sleep the light has been passed down to someone else, either way this boy must be found Mickey said. Will do Mickey, I just have one question Riku said. What is it Mickey said, what is a Jinchuriki? Riku asked. Mickey eyes widened from the question. Hainer took Naruto and company to Market Street, Station Heights. This is Market Street Hainer said, Naruto looked around the area, he saw a bag on a carriage, he then looked at the help wanted signs, here you can mostly find help wanted signs, since this town is short on people there is always a job waiting for anyone who needs one pence said, they then started to walk up the hill until something caught Naruto's eye, Naruto looked at a poster that said the struggle draws near, the struggle draws near, Naruto said with a confused look on his face. Yeah that's just talking about the struggle tournament tomorrow Pence said. What's a struggle? Naruto asked, it's a friendly bout with struggle sticks Hainer said as he pulled out his struggle sword, we use these swords to wear out our opponents so we can collect their prize balls Hainer said. Naruto still had a puzzled look on his face. Look how about you join the tournament tomorrow and find out for yourself Hainer said. But I have to find my way back to the village Naruto said. Your village is probably a long ways away from here, how about you stay here for a while and I will pay for your train ticket a few days from now Hainer said. Are you even sure that his village is even on the TRA? Pence could not finish his sentence because Hainer quickly elbowed him in the stomach. So is it a plan Hainer said with a cheesy smile, Naruto shrugged his shoulders, sure why not, this struggle thing sounds like fun anyway Naruto said, he and Hainer shook hands once again. They headed to the station plaza, this is the station plaza. This is where you can get on the train Pence said, just then they saw a short cloaked figure run past them, it was being chased by these white creatures, the cloaked figure ran through a dark portal and disappeared, the white creatures that was chasing it turned their attention to Naruto and company. Um I don't think they looked to friendly Pence said, ah who cares ill take care of them Hainer said rushing into battle with his struggle sword, just then a huge creature appeared holding a hammer, berserker nobody, Hainer immediately paused in fear, holy crap he said as he could have sworn he just shit his pants. The berserker grabbed his hammer and jumped in the sky, Naruto immediately summoned his keyblade, Hainer, Pence and Olet eyes widened at the summoned keyblade, Olet thought so he has one too, he is just like that boy from before. Song. Twilight Town battle theme Naruto created three clones of himself. He jumped in the air with his keyblade, the berserker descended down with his hammer facing down. Two of the three Naruto clones grabbed the berserker's hammer and hit him in the head with it. The real Naruto slashed through the berserker destroying it, the other white creatures then surrounded Naruto and the gang. Naruto's clones circled around his three friends, they slashed through all the white creatures, more and more white creatures appeared. Naruto created more and more clones and they all jumped the white creatures, they slashed sliced and diced through the swarm of creatures with ease, no more creatures appeared, all the Naruto clones disappeared. Song and wow that was amazing Pence said, no sweat those guys were weak Naruto said with a cheesy smile. Where did you learn to fight like that? Hainer asked. I mostly learned by watching others fight, but my senseis also taught me some unique tricks Naruto said. You gotta show me some of your moves dude Hainer said. Maybe later, right now I am hungry Naruto said, then let's get you some food Olet said. 30 minutes later Naruto, Hainer, Pence and Olet were eating ice cream on top of the station. What is this ice cream called? Naruto asked. This is sea salt ice cream, it's the best Pence said, Hainer then raised his ice cream to the sky, to our new friend Naruto who kicks ass and takes names. Hey you give me too much credit Naruto said, the three then bursted out into laughter, all except Olet who was thinking if you have that weapon I hope you use it for good because I seen some terrible things happen because of that weapon. Organization 13 theme song world that never was. Round room. Thirteen cloaked beings sat in their respective chairs, all of their faces were covered by a hood, it seems the light has passed down to the next hero said a cloaked figure with a dark angry British accent, he was bulky and had his arms folded. This makes the game more interesting, a new card has been drawn said a cloaked figure with a lighter British accent, he had one leg over the other and was holding cards. Not to mention he is a Jinchuriki said another cloaked figure with a monotone voice, he was holding a rose in his right hand and smelling it. It was you who approached him last Zexion said the bulky British cloaked male. Yes, he had the keyblade back then but it has not resurfaced until now said the polite voiced male now reveled to be Zexion. Fascinating, 
Then that means the turn of events resurfaced a bright light within his heart said a slouching cloaked figure his voice is that of a scientist. What does it matter? It is not like a little toy like that can do any damage said a cloaked female. As if, him being a jinchuriki and having a keyblade is two flavors that should not mix said a skinny cloaked guy with an older Californian surfer accent, he took a drag of his cigarette. It would not be wise to underestimate this one said a slouching cloaked figure with an icy cold tone of voice. The question now is who will be the one to go after him said a younger teenage cloaked boy. Not it said a whiny voiced one who was leaning back in his chair. As if, I say that we send Demick's sense he so desperately does not want to go said the California accented one. No way. I will screw it all up said the whiny voiced one now revealed as Demick's. Greg, I will go, I have been waiting for a fight for the longest said the bulky British one. Gentlemen. Everyone turned their attention to the cloaked being on the highest chair, I have decided Axel will be the one to go said the cloaked being in the highest chair, his was filled with bass and he sounded tired. No fair said the female, oh come on Lerxine you can't have all the fun can you, just leave it to me, I will give the keyblade Jinchuriki a hot workout, got it memorized said the skinny cloaked one revealed as Axel. Agrabah. A short cloaked figure ran through the streets of Agrabah. The person in question was being chased by those creatures in white. The person found itself cornered by these creatures. It summoned a kingdom key keyblade and went into battle, it slashed through the creatures with ease, more and more creatures started to appear, the cloaked being shot a Ragnarok out of the tip of its keyblade, it then started to pant under the pressure, I can't keep this up, I will surely die at the rate I am going the cloaked being said its voice a girl's, she then opened a dark portal, perhaps I will have better luck in another world she said as she went through the portal. Naruto woke up the next morning, him being the only one in the clubhouse at this time he decided to get something to eat, it was a good thing Olet brought him some instant ramen, he microwaved it and started eating, before he can make it to his third bite Pence walked in, hey ninja boy what's shaking Pence said trying to sound cool. Naruto looked at his husky friend and gave him a handshake, he then sat down next to Naruto, so how are things so far he asked. Can't complain although I am a little homesick it's noting. I have been away from my home for lounger periods of time Naruto said. What's it like in your village? Pence asked, it's a great place if you like being busy, or Hokage makes sure all the shinobi are always working on some sort of mission, some of the villagers are real dicks but some are cool, in a way I guess you can say it is a very situational place to live Naruto said. Why is that? Pence asked, it is possible that my village can go to war, so we always try to be ready in case an attack breaks out Naruto said. Have you ever been in a war? Pence asked, yeah, it was three years ago when a guy named Orochimaru attacked with his sound village, I fought a guy named Gara who was like me in many ways, we lived the same type of harsh beginning, in the end Gara turned out okay, but that was not all that happened in our village, or Hokage died in the assault Naruto said his voice getting more serious. Wow it must be tough to lose your leader Pence said with sorrow in his voice. That was hard but finding a replacement was harder, I had to deal with a stubborn old hag who tries her hardest to be young. In the end she agreed to become the fifth Hokage and she hated the job ever since Naruto said his voice getting less serious. You must have had a lot of adventures Pence said. You don't know the half of it Naruto said, just then Olet entered the clubhouse, you guys alright? She asked. Yup Naruto said, good Hainer is waiting for us in the struggle arena Olet said, Naruto put his hand on his head, that's right that tournament was today he said, Olet then gave him his cloths which she washed and dried. Naruto put them on and exited the usual spot. Naruto, Pence and Olet headed to the struggle arena, there they saw Hainer glaring down a boy with a long white vest and a black beanie, he was accompanied by a tall tan skinned male with brown hair wearing a short sleeved red shirt and saggy blue jeans, and a girl who was short with pale skin and silver hair, she had blue short sleeved shirt and white pants. The boy with the beanie turned his attention to Hainer's approaching group, oh look it's fat ass and ditzy he said insulting them. Pence pouted in anger and Oled just ignored the insult, it looks like you losers brought a friend, I guess this chicken wuss has come to cheer you on Hainer the boy in the beanie said. On the contrary he has come to compete Hainer said, ha 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 you think this piece of shit can struggle the boy with the beanie said, Naruto grabbed Cypher by the collar, I don't like name calling, I will fuck you up you little piece of shit he said intimidating the boy, the referee came over, break it up break it up, save all the violence for the ring the referee said breaking the fight up. The beanie boy dusted off his jacket vest, when we battle your history he said. Naruto then turned his attention to Hainer, that's Cypher, he is last year's struggle champion Hainer said. He does not look like much Naruto said, 
Don't underestimate him he is really strong Hainer said. You forget Hainer that I am strong as well Naruto said. I already registered you Hainer said. Naruto shook his hand and grabbed a struggle sword, this is going to be fun. They all stood outside the arena while the referee explained the rules, the rules are simple, whoever floors their opponent first is the victor, there will be no outside weapons involved, the winner gets the 8th year annual struggle trophy he said as he showed a tail blue trophy that held 4 balls with the colors red, blue, green and yellow, the crowd cheered. The first match will be T. Wylight's roughhouse and local attitude problem Hainer vs a newcomer completely out of nowhere Naruto, Naruto and Hainer both got up, they're both starred at each other. Hainer smirked make it good Naruto he said. Likewise Naruto said, let the battle begin, Hainer ran towards Naruto trying to hit him with his struggle sword. Naruto simple jumped back, he then rapidly rushed towards Hainer striking him in the stomach with his struggle stick. He then stroked Hainer in the back making him fall instantly, the crowd watched and shook as Naruto won his match with ease, and the winner is, Naruto the referee said shocked out of the quickness of the match, Pence jaw dropped, he beat Hainer without any struggle Pence said his whole body and shook, the beanie boy just shrugged his shoulders, you can be him easy cipher, Yano said the tan skinned boy. Pitiful the silver haired girl said, that boy is going down cipher said. The referee came back into the ring, our next match is the leader of the town's disciplinary league cipher versus one of his boys Vivi, cipher came to the ring full of confidence, a little warlock looking creature known as Vivi entered the ring, get ready Vivi let's see what you learn cipher said with a cocky smile. Ready begin Vivi ran towards Cypher hitting him in the leg. Cypher then swung his struggle sword at Vivi. Vivi side stepped to the sky and uppercut Cypher in the jaw with his struggle sword. He then crossed blade Cypher but Cypher used his struggle sword like a shield and pushed Vivi back. Cypher then jumped in the air and bobbed Vivi in the head. Vivi came falling to the ground. He found himself worn out on the floor with Cypher holding the tip of his struggle sword to Vivi. And the winner is Cypher. The audience cheered loudly all except Hainer. Naruto, Pence and Olette. I see Naruto said, I told you he is strong Hainer said. It does not bother me, hopefully he will give me some trouble or else things might get too boring Naruto said. The referee entered the ring, now for the final match, the town disciplinary Capitan Cypher vs the Miracle Kid Naruto. Winner gets the 8th annual struggle trophy, Naruto and Cypher both entered the ring, are you ready loser Cypher said, this was not good for Cypher, the one word Naruto hated through everything loser the same exact word used by Sasuke. You're going to pay for that remark Naruto said glaring Cypher down. Let the battle begin, Naruto immediately ran towards Cypher with top speed, Cypher got ready to block Naruto's attack but Naruto whacked Cypher with all his might, Naruto then kept waking Cypher with force, Cypher eventually lost balance and fell, Naruto looked down at Cypher as he tried to get up. And the winner is Naruto the referee said holding Naruto's hand up, the referee then handed Naruto the trophy, so how does it feel to be the winner of the struggle tournament the referee said, Naruto walked away with the trophy, he handed it to Pence hold this. Cypher finally got back up to his feet, Naruto ran up to him and punched him in the face. He then got on the floor and kept punching Cypher in the face. I am a loser huh he said as he continued to pound out Cypher's face. He then got up and stomped him out, woe's a loser now ha ha he said full of anger. The referee was getting ready to break the fight up until a cloak figure teleported in front of him. White creatures started to appear from nowhere. Naruto then stopped beating Cypher up and noticed he was surrounded, everyone else was running for their lives as the white creatures started to attack. Hainer and Pence all picked up Cypher and started to walk off, good luck bro Hainer said giving Naruto the thumbs up, they started to walk away while Olette watched the battle from afar while holding the trophy. Naruto summoned his keyblade and immediately went into battle. He slashed through the white creatures killing them with ease, more creatures started to appear from the ground, they were slouching and had saw-like arms, Naruto attacked one of them using an air combo, he was then tackled by one that resurfaced from the ground, Naruto reacted quickly and slashed through the nobodies, he then attacked the rest of them who were emerging from the ground, he finished the last one of by slashing right through it, he then heard clapping. Great show said a hooded figure, Naruto looked at him noticing he seen that code before. He seen it two years ago when he encountered the one with the book and he saw it when someone wearing it was running away from the white creatures. Who are you? Naruto said, who am I you ask the man said, he took off his hood, he had green eyes with spiky red semi long hair and red drops under his eyes, the names Axel got it memorized the newly revealed Axel said. Naruto looked at Olette who was just watching the fight from afar, 
Don't worry I have no intentions on hurting your girlfriend he said sharply. Now where were we Axel said as he put both of his arms to the side and summoned his chakrams, don't go and die on me he said as he put both of his chakrams to his side and started to spin them in his fighting stance. Naruto went into his fighting stance. Song. 13th struggle. Re. Com come here ill make it all stop Axel said as he waited for Naruto to attack. Naruto used his shadow clone jutsu to create a clone, too. Axel shouted being completely surprised. Naruto and his clone ran towards Axel. Oh no you don't Axel said throwing one of his chakrams at Naruto. The chakram destroyed the clone but the real Naruto was still running. He jumped in the air and brought his keyblade down at Axel. Axel dashed out of the way. He then appeared behind Naruto with both chakrams, get back. He shouted as he blasted Naruto with a blast of fire from his chakrams. Naruto quickly got back to his feet. He then created six more clones of himself. Axel smirked this trick again he said with an annoyed tone of voice. The Naruto clones all ran in and attacked Axel randomly. Axel used his chakrams to deal with the clones with ease. He then saw another clone come from the sky getting ready to smash his skull with the keyblade. Axel threw a flaming chakram at the clone. What he saw next shocked him. He saw Naruto coming down with a giant sphere of energy, Rasengan. He shouted. Axel quickly dashed out of the way. The blast hit the ground and knocked Axel off his feet. Olet watched in awe as Naruto and Axel fought. Hainer and Pence came back to see the rest of the fight. Axel quickly got to his feet. He thought for a beginner this kid is tough. He might even be able to kill me if I keep taking it light on him. Having fun licking your wounds Naruto said. I am just getting started. Let's heat things up Axel said as he shot a huge blast of fire Naruto's way. This took Naruto off his feet. Axel quickly dashed forward to cut through Naruto with his chakrams. He was stopped by Naruto and his clone hitting him with a Rasengan. This sent Axel hurtling back against a wall. Not bad Naruto Axel said as the fight scene ended. Song and Naruto looked at Axel who was now getting back up. Impressive but you have a long way before you can truly destroy me Axel said. What are you talking about Naruto said. Look behind you Axel said. Naruto turned around to see Axel's two chakrams coming at him like a boomerang. This knocked Naruto to the ground. The chakrams went back to Axel. Axel then brought his attention to Olet. Hey girl. When he wakes up tell him this is not over. Got it memorized he said while teleporting away. Ten minutes later Naruto got back up. He saw the worried faces of Hainer, Pence and Olet. What happened? Naruto asked. That cloaked guy put you out Pence said. No way I kicked his ass Naruto said. It was his wheel weapon. He used it like a boomerang to knock you out Hainer said. Naruto then got back to his feet. Where is he? Naruto asked getting angry. He said to tell you that it was not over, but he disappeared after that Olet said. Damn it Naruto said. Hainer touched his shoulder. Don't sweat it now. You should be happy. You did win the struggle tournament after all. Naruto calmed down. I guess you're right he said. Let's go get some ice cream Pence said. Twilight Town Station Tower the four ate their sea salt ice cream once again. Naruto grabbed his trophy and took the jewels off of it. He gave the red one to Hainer the green one to Pence and the yellow one to Olette. He kept the blue one for himself. We can share this victory Naruto said as he held his jewel towards the sunset. How about tomorrow we go to the beach Hainer said. Sounds like a plan Naruto said, in a cave in the outskirts of the mist village. The masked boy walked briskly inside the cave. There he saw four men all wearing black coats with red clouds on it. One of them was wearing a swirled orange mask with only his red eyes showing. Another had long blonde hair with a bang covering his eye. Another had spiky orange hair with many piercing. The other male was the tallest with paler blue skin and shark-like features. He had a sword covered in bandages on his back. So you have come said the man in the swirled mask. Like you said before the Keyblade Master is asleep. Now a new one must bear this title said the masked boy. Who is the runt said the man with shark-like features. He is, my new apprentice the swirled man said, I take it you have revealed yourself to the others said the masked boy. Indeed, but now it is time you reveal your true face Vanitas the masked man said. Vanitas took of his mask, the shark like man eyes widened I see he said followed by a snicker. Vanitas then put his mask back on, anyway I have brought you three here with me to venture to the other worlds and obtain what I seek. Saizori will command Akatsuki in our absence the swirled face male said. He then opened up a dark portal. Now we must go he said walking through the portal. World that never was Axel walked through the halls of the world that never was. He saw a cloaked figure up ahead but could not detect who it was. He moved closer to see the figure. I see you are already back from your mission said the cloak figure his voice that of Zexian's. Yeah I tested that Jinchuriki, he really gave me a beaten Axel said holding his arm. 
Perhaps you should not have taken it light Zexion said. What do you know if I recall you never fought him, you let your illusion do all the work Axel said. That may be true but that battle gave me a quick analysis on how he fights Zexion said. And you never reported this why? Axel said sarcastically. It was irrelevant info at the time, now we know for sure he is the new hero of light Zexion said. I bet you probably did not back up any of this data Mr. Bookworm Axel said insulting the young man. I would not keep that tone if I were you Axel said an approaching cloaked figure, this one was big and buff with much bass in his voice. Lekos? Axel said, I don't like your tone Axel, you will not refer to Zexion that way said the newly revealed Lekos. Or else what big guy you're going to smash me or something along those lines Axel said insulting the mon's intelligence. Exactly, you do not know who you are messing with whelp Lekos said summoning his axe sword. Resulting to violence so quickly, you really are nothing but a stupid brute Axel said laughing at the large man, Lekos raised his axe sword to the sky and then brought it down on Axel, the axe sword was then blocked by another cloaked figure holding it with only his hands. What do you want sakes? You're in my way Lekos said angrily. I advise you end this petty dispute, as you're better I suggest you leave him alone the icy cold sakes said. If it is any constellation it was Axel who started it Zexion said. An order is an order, you two are to leave Axel alone or else things might become a little hasty and I don't mean in a good way Sakes said. The two started to walk away, enjoy yourself at the top Sakes, it won't last long Zexion said under his breath, the two vanished in the hallway leaving Axel and Sakes alone. That was kind of close Axel said breathing easy, I cannot keep covering your mess up Sakes said. Remember sakes it was I who ruined Zexion, Lekos and Vexen's reputations so you can make it to the top, I am just weeping the benefits, got it memorized Axel said. Well get this memorized old friend, the hero of light will only become stronger, it is only a matter of time before he comes after us sakes said. You think I don't know that, I fought him and he is no cakewalk, that kid is a monster Axel said. Then he must be dealt with sakes said, true enough but remember we need him alive if we are to get kingdom hearts Axel said. Yes but if we keep him alive too long he will become too powerful, right now we should work on keeping him on a steady path Sakes said. Agreed, having you third in command is a good gesture, being able to get rid of people like Zexion and Lekos would be nice Axel said. Keep it under your hood, we would not like for other members to know of this Sakes said shushing Axel. What about the runaway? Who will be the one to track her down? Axel asked. As of now I have sent Dusk and the other nobodies after her. Eventually I will send someone out to get her sakes said. That's good to hear Axel said as he began to walk away, by the way how is Roxas doing? Sakes asked. Right now he is just trying to take in the info about Sora one step at a time Axel said. This knowledge will soon turn to resentment, he will lash out against the keybladers in a violent disperse so he can maintain his existence sakes said closing his eyes at the last minute. Isn't that what we want? Having Roxas hate them makes him the perfect weapon Axel said with a tad bit of sarcasm and displeasure in his voice. Exactly Sakes said teleporting away, Axel continued to walk down the hall until he walked past another cloaked figure, hey Axel what was that about having you and Sakes off some of the members said the cloaked figure with a California surfer accent. I take it you heard the conversation Zigbar Axel said, not that I care, this place would be more silent without some off those pricks around Zigbar said, Axel began to walk away. Zigbar ran up to him and put his arm around his neck, of course if the others were to find out it might be a problem Zigbar said evilly. Don't you have something else to do rather than blackmail me? Why don't you fuck your whore and leave me alone Axel said his voice getting angrier. Don't be so harsh flame skillets, I am just implying that I have a very loose tongue and that I can be persuaded to keep my mouth shut Zigbar said. What do you want? Axel said, noting much, I just want you to pay a certain sage a visit Zigbar said. In other words you want me to kill him off Axel said getting down to the point. Now you are getting it Zigbar said, why do you want him dead anyway? Axel asked. I have reason to believe that he will try to get involved with Naruto, so I just want him out of the way, not to mention he secretly stole the last Butterfinger and no one lays a finger on my Butterfinger Zigbar said sarcastically. You're joking, you have a bigger reason for why you want him dead that you are not telling me Axel said. Maybe Zigbar said, does Zemnas know about this Axel said. Man Zemnas does not even know his own name, what makes you think he knows anything about this Zigbar said. Then I can just tell Zemnas this little bit of info and be on my way Axel said, he then heard Zigbar's guns click together. Listen dude I would not do that if I were you, may I remind you that I outrank you and your little boyfriend. Not to mention I can blast circles around you, 
Go ahead tell Zemnas and you will find yourself missing a ball or two. Trust me I am a crack shot Zigbar said with a sharp serious tone, for the first time in a while Axel felt a chill down his spine, he knew the free shooter was a man of his word, not to mention he has years of experience, the real question is will Zemnas even care if he found out any of this info, out of all the members in the organization Zigbar is the one who gets away with murder. He'll do it Axel said, that's what I thought you said Zigbar said teleporting away. Jiraiya walked through the vast meadow, things has escalated pretty far, I did not think that Naruto would be drew into this mess, I blame Master Zihanort for this, the old bag of dust was just too curious for his own good, if it weren't for Orochimaru and Tsunade I would be in the same shoes as Zihanort's host Jiraiya thought to himself, just then he saw a white creature appear from the depths of nothingness, what are these things he said as he got ready to fight. The creature jumped in the air to tackle him, Jiraiya grabbed the creature by its head and slammed it to the ground, more and more creatures appeared, they all attempted to tackle Jiraiya, oh please, ninja art neto jezo Jiraiya shouted as his hair became a spiky barricade that destroyed the creatures, has Zihanort went this far Jiraiya thought, a dark portal then appeared, out from it walked Axel, a corridor of darkness Jiraiya thought, I believe you are the toad mountain sage Axel said staring at the man, who wants to know, Jiraiya said, names Axel got it memorized, you have a bounty on your head Axel said, really, Oh yes, I have been sent to take you out of the picture Axel said while summoning his chakrams, Jiraiya's eyes widened, and that is what I intend to do Axel said throwing his chakrams at Jiraiya, his chakrams was then deflected by a keyblade. Jiraiya held his keyblade firmly, design, steel base with the blade being all gold with a Japanese symbol for light as the edge, the keychain was a white spiky strand of hair, keyblade name, lights mage, it's been a while since I had to use this old thing. Looks like I have to get out of my retirement Jiraiya said smiling. Keyblade or no keyblade you're going down Axel said dashing into to slash through Jiraiya. Jiraiya deflected Axel with ease forcing him back with the force of his keyblade. Axel then blasted a huge blast of fire towards Jiraiya. Jiraiya deflected stroke his palm out and a force of wind blew away the fire. I have to thank you, I hope you know what you just did Jiraiya said. Axel only glared at him seeing as his attacks did not work on him. Since another world presence has entered our own, those with the keyblade resurface, since you came I can now use the keyblade, if I was powerful enough without it just imagine what I can do with it he said, Jiraiya then used haste and rushed forward, he quickly appeared in front of Axel, he was then slashed back by a cloaked figure holding two keyblades. Jiraiya then moved back, so you have help he said to Axel. How sickening the cloaked boy said holding both his keyblades at his side. Roxas why are you here, Axel said. At first it was to explore this world but I wound up saving your hide Roxas said coldly. I see, well then let's take care of this guy Axel said as he went back into his fighting stance. Two against one, I see you guys don't play fair Jiraiya said smiling, Axel chuckled engraved in stone that you were destroyed by the furry of dancing flames Axel said dashing towards Jiraiya. HMMH Roxas said dashing towards Jiraiya, Jiraiya put his keyblade in the ground. He then did rapid hand signs, earth style scattered earth Jiraiya shouted as the ground broke up and shattered, only few pieces of land remained, Axel and Roxas jumped in the air both trying to cut down Jiraiya. Not going to happen, earth style meteor stream Jiraiya said, shattered pieces of the earth ascended in the sky, Jiraiya raised keyblade to the sky and the meteors started to fall, the wind from the meteors was so scarce that it blew of Roxas hood. Axel and Roxas both looked around to see that there was not many places to run later Axel said teleporting away, Roxas did the same, the meteor showered where the two nobodies were previously standing, Jiraiya looked to see nothing there, the two had escaped him. This has Zihanort's stench all over it he said as he began to walk forward. Song. Strange whispers Axel and Roxas teleported back to the castle, I see you couldn't hack it Zigbar said. Oh shut up, you never told me he was a keyblade master Axel said. Oh dear are you mad at me Zigbar said smiling under his hood. Axel glared at Zigbar and then teleported away. Roxas then looked at Zigbar. HMMH he said before teleporting away. A bulky cloaked figure walked by with his hands behind his back. Zigbar are you torturing these poor souls said the bold British cloaked figure. Not at all Zaldan I am just having a little fun Zigbar said. Remember don't have too much fun, the Keyblade Master is still needed Zaldan said. Of course I know that, I am not stupid Zigbar said. I am probably the only member here that can read you this well, but sending Axel to fight the Toad Mountain Sage was a punishment, you really want him gone Zaldan said. He and Sakes are planning to off some of the members of the organization Zigbar said. 
Then why didn't you take action and get rid of him yourself? You could have at least told Zemnas Zaldan said. As if, what fun would that be, with this info I have Axel and Sakes by the balls Zigbar said. Do as you please but know this. Make sure Roxas is not harmed in the crossfire Zaldan said. So how goes the search for the runaway Zigbar said. She is persistent on escaping from us, but she is getting tired. I give it a couple of weeks before she completely tires out Zaldan said. We must find her if we want to complete the X-Blade Zigbar said. Song end three weeks later it has been three weeks since Naruto won the struggle tournament, in the last three weeks Naruto has done noting except hang with his new friends, not a single creature attacked him, it was as if they were afraid of the light, he still wanted to go home but it seemed like noting worked, they even went through every stop on the train but no luck. Now Naruto decided to take a stroll on his own, knowing the area was a plus considering he have traveled nearly everywhere with Hainer in the gang. The one place he has never explored was the old mansion, its aura was veiled mystery. He arrived at the mansion, he looked in the window to see if the mysterious girl Pence was talking about would appear. There was only the curtains moving, he walked forward to see if he could open the gate but it was closed shut. Naruto then used his shadow clones to form a ladder and go over the gate. He entered the mansion to see nothing but the place being in a complete wreck. For some reason he felt a strange light from one of the rooms upstairs. He entered the room to see noting but drawings, they were artist was terrible. The drawings looked like as if they were drawn by a four year old, Naruto picked up one of the drawings, it showed a boy wearing red shorts with ZS over him while a purplish blob overtook him, this picture's so lame Naruto said, he then heard the sound of a girl pouting, he turned around only to see the girl running away, he ran out of the room but seen no one, he searched the whole mansion but to no avail, all that was found was a old library. Where did she go he said as he opened the mansion door and left the mansion, walking out of the mansion he saw that the gate has been opened, he ran out of the mansion's garden and into the forest. Who's there Naruto said summoning his keyblade, wow it seems your observation skills are still input said a voice that echoed through the forest. Show yourself. Naruto yelled, fair enough the voice said, just then a young man jumped down from a tree. Naruto's eyes widened as he saw it was the same young man from before except his hair was lounger and he looked slightly older. He had on a white and yellow vest over a black zipper short sleeved shirt that still showed his belly button. He had very baggy blue pants and white sneakers. KH2 outfit, you. Naruto shouted as he ran towards the silver haired male with his keyblade in place. The silver haired male quickly dashed behind him and tried to elbow him. That Naruto disappeared in thin air and another Naruto fell on the silver haired male. He then started to punch him, but the silver haired male held his fist. Relax, I come in peace, the silver haired boy said. Naruto then got back up. Then why the hell did you knock me out in the forest Naruto said. You were in the way the silver haired male said emotionlessly, Naruto then chuckled, you must be insane, you have no idea who you're dealing with bub Naruto said. Naruto Uzumaki of the Hidden Leaf Village, you're a low ranked shinobi who specializes in the shadow clone jutsu the silver haired male said. What? Who are you? Naruto asked, Riku theme song I am Riku and like you I am a keyblader Riku said summoning his way of the dawn master. That still doesn't mean I trust you Naruto said, I was warned you would be like this Riku said. What are you talking about? Naruto asked, answer me this Naruto, do you know why one such as you has the keyblade? Riku asked. I don't know Naruto said, your heart is strong, heartless are drawn to strong hearts of light, the keyblade shows you because your heart is strong enough to deal with the burden Riku said with a serious look on his face. So those white creatures that have been appearing are called heartless Naruto said. No, those are nobodies Riku said, what's a nobody? Naruto asked. I would prefer if we had this talk elsewhere Riku said. The two walked to the mansion gate, they both took a seat in the grass, like I was saying, the heartless or darkness made real, when one gives into the darkness in his heart a heartless is born, there are many different varieties of heartless, ones that were created and others that were formed by darkness itself Riku said. What about the nobodies? Naruto asked, the most contradicting creatures in the world. They act as if they feel emotion when they have no heart to do creatures arte created when a strong heart is swallowed by darkness. The body it leaves behind creates a nobody, although there has been special case when a nobody is born with no starting body Riku said. Heartless and nobodies. I think I get it, but what about those blue creatures are they heartless as well? Naruto asked. Not at all, they are called unversed, from what I know they are beings that feed on negative emotions, they are the newest to me. I am still trying to learn the nature of those beasts Riku said. What do I have to do with any of this? Naruto asked. A couple of months ago there was a great fight, 
my best friend Sora who was a Keyblader took on Ansem the Lord of Darkness. He and his friends defeated Ansem but his darkness went to someone else, he appeared to Sora with a new body, Sora fought valiantly but Ansem had a new bag of tricks, with these new eyes of his he put Sora and his friends in a permanent sleep, with the hero of light forever locked in Ansem's curse the duty to protect the light had to go to someone else, seeing as your heart's keyblade has been unlocked the light went to you Riku said. Naruto thought could this new body be Sasuke's, besides that there are other threats, the nobodies seek to be whole, through this dream lie ruin for the other worlds, being led by the nobody of Ansem they have formed a group known as Organization 13, a group of nobody warriors with terrible strong powers Riku said. So the guy the first met a few weeks ago must have been a member Naruto said. What is his name? Riku said, I believed it was Axel, he manipulates fire and he knocked me out cold Naruto said. That's not good, I have to teach you how to use the keyblade fast, it won't be long before another organization member comes after us Riku said. You were saying said an echoing voice, a cloaked organization member teleported before them. Organization 13 theme song Organization 13, Riku shouted. Awesome we get to take one out right now Naruto said. You ignorant fool I have no intentions on marring you said the cloaked man with a gentle yet assertive voice. Then why are you here Riku said, to give you an invitation the cloaked man said pulling a card from his sleeve, it threw the card at Naruto. In three days my associate challenges you to a dual keyblade Jinchuriki the cloaked man said. I'll show you Naruto said rushing in at the cloaked man, in the blink of an eye the man disappeared leaving a trail of Sakura petals behind. Reckless actions such as that will bring about your heart's destruction, it would sadness if you were to perish the cloaked man said. If you guys want me dead so bad then how come you want fight me now, what are you pussy Naruto said. Trust me my friend I am no pussy as you call it, unlike the other more barbaric members I like to handle my situations like a gentleman, thus I am giving you time to ready your skills the cloaked man said. Why even bother Naruto said, my partner likes to have fun, it would be a bore if you were not strong enough the cloaked gentleman said. There is something you are not telling, why would you even bother with this little bout Riku said. I care not to bout the keyblade Jinchuriki, I am here on behalf of my partner, if my partner were to come instead of me things would have turned, troublesome the cloaked gentleman said. I want accept tea, Naruto then cut off Riku, no I accept your duel, this should be fun, tell your partner it's on Naruto said, Riku then looked at Naruto and shook. Smart man. If you would have chosen otherwise my savage partner would have sought you out the cloaked gentleman said, he then opened a dark portal, farewell keyblade Jinchuriki. Riku then turned his attention to Naruto, if that is how things are going to be then we need to get going now Riku said. I can't just leave, Hainer and the others don't even know what is going on, not to mention I have not checked in at my village yet Naruto said. My friend covered that already, if I am not mistaken your Hokage is Tsunade right? Riku asked, Naruto nodded. My friend knows your Hokage and has already paid a visit to your village, now let's go Riku said walking in the direction of the forest. Song and Naruto and Riku went to the usual spot, Hainer, Pence and Olet immediately brought their attention to Naruto, so you came back Olet said, Hainer then brought his attention to Riku. Who's the new guy Hainer said, oh this is Riku, I have to go with him Naruto said. Why? Pence asked, Naruto simply summoned his keyblade, the three immediately understood. I will keep in touch Naruto said, Hainer and Pence got up and gave him a handshake, hope you find whatever there is out there Pence said. Show those losers whose boss Hainer said, Olette then got up and hugged Naruto, be careful she said, Naruto kissed her on the cheek and left. Naruto wait Hainer said, Naruto turned back to see Hainer, Pence and Olette holding out the struggle jewels, we want you to have this Hainer said. Good luck Olette said, Naruto and Riku then walked out of the usual spot. You think he will be alright Olette said, you see what he did to me and Cypher at the struggle tournament, he going to be just fine, that kid's got balls Hainer said. Keyblade unlocked struggling chance. Blue blade with a red, yellow and green handle, blade edge is the design of a cross. The keychain is all blue and has a blue ball as the keychain. Ability. Increases strength in a pinch. Hollow Bastion. In the ruins of the castle stood a boy with all black hair. He was wearing a black trench coat with dark blue pants with matching white boots and gloves, he opened his hand and darkness surfaced, the darkness took the form of an all black witch that was radiating in green ember like energy, I see you have a new host said the ember witch. This heart was too close to the darkness, even closer than Riku, I could not resist such a dark heart, now Sora is eternally sleeping the dark boy said. He is not dead but he is asleep the ember witch said. 
Maleficent, it was the meddling king who saved him, now the boy is beyond my reach the dark boy said. So now what do we do, we cannot obtain kingdom hearts with the keyblade master of the light sleep Maleficent said. The light has been passed down to another, what I want you to do is find Pete and put that boy out of commission the dark boy said. Will do she said teleporting away, Naruto and Riku went to the station heights, are we going to take the train Naruto asked. No Riku said while summoning his keyblade, his keyblade then shot out a beam of light, he summoned a blue and yellow mini spaceship, it looked more like a surfboard than a ship. What's that? Naruto asked, this is Escalibur my gummy ship Riku said as he walked on the ship. We are going to take a trip to another world, I hope you are ready Riku said as he kept his hand out for Naruto, Naruto took Riku's hand and went on the ship. They flew quickly in the sky and zoomed off into space, ever since I was a kid I always wanted to explore other worlds Riku said. It seems you have finally accomplished that dream Naruto said. Sometimes I wish I didn't, it was because of that same dream that my friend is sleep Riku said. You mean Sora right? What is so special about that kid anyway? Naruto asked. Sora was another chosen to wield the Keyblade, I can barely remember it now but long ago a Keyblade Master came to Destiny Islands and granted me the promises that I will be a Keyblade Master in the future. He is another in which I am searching for. Unfortunately I have no leads on where to find him or any other keybladers, the only keyblader besides me yourself and the king that is still active is a boy named Vanitas, King Mickey told me that he and a girl named Aqua fought Vanitas and won all those years ago, after that he lost track on what happened to Aqua and the rest of the keybladers Riku said. If Vanitas was destroyed then why did he resurface? Naruto asked. Unknown at the moment, my guess is that it has something to do with an unknown force. Lately I have heard whispers of coated figures wearing red clouds on their black coats, they have been spotted with the unversed Riku said. Akatsuki Naruto said thinking of the raven-haired male with red sharing in eyes and the carnivorous man with shark-like features. You seem familiar with them Riku said, yeah, a while back two of them paid me a visit, they wanted me because of my nine-tailed fox Naruto said. So they are demon hunters, things might get tricky Riku said, he then landed the ship. Traverse town traverse town music, Naruto and Riku got off the gummy ship, where are we Naruto asked, he looked around to see the weirdly colored town with many tourists. Where in traverse town home of the abandoned and those who worlds were swallowed by darkness Riku said, come we must visit the item shop, I have a few friends there Riku said moving forward. Riku and Naruto entered the item shop only to see it completely cleaned out, what happened this place was still here a week ago Riku said. Yeah apparently the owner moved to hollow bastion. A spiky haired shark like man with a huge sword came in and flooded the whole place with water, Riku looked at the frail old man. When was this? Riku asked, it was several days ago, Sid and the other fled as they prevented attacks from these blue creatures the old man said. Unversed Riku said, he then looked at Naruto, come on I am sure there are some heartless or something around here Riku said to the blonde haired boy. They made it to the second district, this is a hot spot for heartless. Here I will teach you magic Riku said summoning his keyblade. First off is fire, you use your hidden energy to produce clones and other attacks but there is another source of energy that lies dormant within you, with that energy you can use magic like so Riku said shooting a fireball at a light bulb. I think I get it, is it like this Naruto said as he shot a blast of fire at the tip of his keyblade, Riku had to immediately dash out of the way, a little reckless but at least you are a fast learner, now try targeting your fire blast at that sign Riku said pointing to coke sign. Naruto shot a blast of fire at the coke sign destroying it. Good job, now want to see how you fare against the heartless with your new magic Riku said. Heartless started to appear out of nowhere, Naruto immediately slashed through the shadow. More and more shadows started to appear this time they were accompanied by soldiers. He then blasted the soldiers with fire destroying them with ease, he then started to use his chakra, not huh, use your magic, you need to get used to it Riku said. Naruto shot more fire be alls at the heartless until he ran out of energy, he then cut through all the remaining heartless slashing them until they returned to the darkness they came from, when Naruto got his MP back he shot an ice blast at an emerging large body, the heartless did not appear after. Riku patted Naruto on the shoulders, remarkable, not only did you learn fire you also learned blizzard without my teachings, at this rate you will be stronger in no time Riku said. I learn really fast, now tell me what's next Naruto said. We need to head to Hallow Bastion so we can find Sid and the others Riku said, he then raised his keyblade to the sky and summoned his gummy ship. Song end 3rd district a cloaked female slashed through dusk after dusk as they came to attack her, she then opened a dark portal, 
A dark portal then appeared, out from it came a giant cloaked man. He took off his face to reveal his messy orange hair and his brick like face. He opened another dark portal and without a word he entered it. Hollow Bastion Hollow Bastion music Naruto and Riku landed in Hollow Bastion, he and Naruto walked through the ruined land. What happened to this place Naruto asked, once a beautiful place Hollow Bastion was taken over by darkness, being the formal capital of light it survived the ruin but Barley Riku said. This place looks like hell Naruto said, just then Heartless started to appear, Naruto quickly summoned his keyblade, as he ran towards the Heartless they were cut down by a giant spinning shuriken, Naruto immediately stopped, that is a ninja weapon. He looked up to see a girl with short black hair wearing a short shirt with black short shorts and a vest. Riku I did not expect to see you in this neck of the woods the girl said jumping down from a building. I have to take care of some things, have you seen Sid and Leon? Riku asked. They're in Merlin's house, who is your friend? The girl asked. I am Naruto I am the great ninja Yuffie Yuffie said, you're a ninja? Naruto asked. Yup do you know any jutsu? Naruto asked, what is a jutsu? Yuffie asked, Naruto had a confused look on his face, how could she be a ninja with no jutsu? Unlike she is like bushy brow who can only learn taijutsu Naruto thought. They headed to Merlin's house, inside was a middle aged man with brown hair wearing a jean jacket, decedia outfit squall, an older man with blonde hair and a white t-shirt, an old man wearing a blue robe with, and a young woman with brown hair in a ponytail and a pink dress. You again Squall said coldly, sorry for the sudden visit but I have come to learn more about what's going on Riku said. Sound more like you need our help Squall said, he then turned his attention to Naruto, what are you supposed to be Squall said coldly. I am Naruto Naruto said a little hesitant, what's with this guy? I sense something strong within him for some reason. For how he acts you would think he is evil but that is not what I am feeling at all. It is like he is giving off a strange bronze aura. Holy crap I can sense auras, I never could do that before Naruto thought, he then brought his attention to Riku, Riku's aura is blue but I can feel a faint darkness within his heart, Yuffie's aura is green much like my own, it feels kind but forceful, the girl in the pink has a white aura as if she has no darkness within her at all, and the blow, Naruto's concentration was then broke by Riku patting Naruto on the shoulder. We have been dealing with heartless, nobody's an unversed isn't that right Naruto? Riku said. Yeah Naruto said absently, oh how rude of me, I am Aerith said the girl in pink. I am Sid said the blonde haired man in the chair, my name is Squall but you can call me Leon, in fact that is an order Leon said. I am Merlin the magician said the old man, I am Naruto Naruto said summoning his keyblade, everyone's eyes widened except Leon and Riku's. I see, you're just like him Leon said, I presume you mean Sora Naruto said. You two both can use the keyblade and you two are destined to get yourselves into trouble Leon said. What is that supposed to mean Naruto said with anger rising in his voice. What I mean is you have your work cut out for you and you are going to need all the help you can get Leon said. Speaking off our journey what is going on here at the moment Riku said. The heartless and the nobodies have been attacking me and the others have tried to keep them at bay but even with the sounds defense system they still bear a valuable threat Leon said. You would think after all we've been through there would be no heartless left Riku said. Well then it is up to us to take out these heartless and nobodies or whoever Naruto said. Riku looked at Naruto and thought the king was right the two are very similar, this one is a little more of a rascal though. For the most part we should at least take a look around the area to see what is going on for ourselves Riku said, he and Naruto began to exit, hey wait Merlin said. Naruto then turned around but Riku was already outside. You say you're a keyblader right Merlin said, yep I just started out Naruto said. Then you're going to need this Merlin said pulling out a book, he handed it to Naruto, it said Merlin's hidden book of magic. This will keep you up to speed on how to use magic, I even have a few tricks in this book that Sora have yet to learn, use its knowledge well Merlin said. Thanks old dude Naruto said running out of the house. Did he just call me old dude Merlin said earning a laugh from Yuffie and Aerith. That kid has a long way before you will be fully able of doing anything Leon thought. Music ends after leaving Sid and the others Naruto and Riku headed towards the Bailey. If what Leon said was true they really have their work cut out for them. As they walked through the ruined town they spotted a cloaked figure running from a bunch of dusk. Riku immediately summoned his way of the dawn keyblade, nobodies he shouted, he and Naruto ran after the dusk, the cloaked being was getting further and further away. Riku slashed through the few dusk that tried to attack him, and more and more dusk started to appear, 
Naruto go I will catch up Riku said slashing through some more nobodies, Naruto started to run, Dusk appeared and all tackled him at once, that Naruto disappeared and the real one ran away. Percent, 5 The cloaked figure ran all the way to a wide open battlefield, summoning her keyblade the unknown girl went into battle slaying all the Dusk, a dark portal then appeared, out from it came a giant man wearing an organization coat, he had orange wild hair and a face like a stone. Zian return to us now and I promises you you will not get hurt said the giant man. Zian thought out of all the members they had to send the giant teddy bear Lekos after me. I really don't want to fight the big guy, I better be lucky they did not send Zaldan after me. He probably would have beaten me and then taken away something I hold dear and I don't mean that in a good way. She summoned her keyblade sorry but I will never go back she said as she rushed into battle, Lekos slammed his axe on the ground shattering the ground she walked on. This sent her flying but she quickly regained her balance and dashed towards him, she attempted to slash him but Lekos backhanded her, his tremendous strength sent her flying and knocked her out cold with her hood of revealing her short jet black hair. You were to much trouble he said as he walked towards her, he then felt a kick to his face, he then stumbled back and regained his balance, he looked at the blonde haired boy holding a keyblade. What? I can't let you hurt that girl you big palooka Naruto said angrily, unlike the others I can't feel nothing from this man Naruto thought. Don't concern yourself with her well being, you have nothing to do with this, go away, Keyblade Warrior, and I will spare you a gruesome death, the large man said. I will never let someone be when they are in need of help, so you better believe we are going to fight, Naruto said, going into his fighting stance. Then suit yourself, Lekos said, getting into his fighting stance, then prepare for the most savage beating imaginable. Thirteenth struggle, Naruto ran in towards Lekos. Shadow clone Jutsu Naruto yelled as he created an army of clones, is that the best you can do? Lekos said forcing his hand out into a palm, the ground then took form of a wave and destroyed some of Naruto's clones. Wrahhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhh
Yeah well if you would stop beating around the bush I would like to know why the organization was chasing you in the first place Riku said sternly. Okay okay I stole the last Klondike bar Zian said, Riku eyes narrowed, okay fine I will tell you, it is because Zemnas is lying to everyone, he pretends to want kingdom hearts so that nobody's can have a heart of their own but the truth is he just wants it to become God Zian said. How come you just left, wouldn't you think to fight back and build a resistance Riku said. Ah uh, yeah that would have worked but we are forgetting one important matter, I have no friends in the organization, everyone was so concerned with their own motives, even the other keyblader just spent all his time training and hanging out with that flamer Axel Zian said. That must have sucked Riku said, trust me I can relate Naruto said. After I looked up the info I took a look on some of their backgrounds, it turns out that most of them faded into darkness due to a mistake, what that great mistake is I am still trying to learn Zian said. But this still makes no sense. You can wield the keyblade, and you say there is another that is a keyblader amongst the thirteen Riku said. I am not sure why I can wield the keyblade but the other one who can wield it is Roxas, he is crazy strong with his keyblade, he trains so much and slain so much heartless that he can wield two at a time with no restrictions Zian said with a little fear in her voice. You say it like this Roxas is that dangerous Naruto said. You would be scared to considering who's nobody he is Zian said. Who's nobody is he? Naruto asked. Sora's, Naruto and Riku's faces lit up in shock. Sora, Riku shouted, I heard about Sora, I heard that he is the light that extinguishes all darkness and if he is that strong Roxas might be even stronger Zian said, Naruto patted Zian on the shoulder. Don't worry we will take out Roxas and any other nobody that comes our way Naruto said. Tough talk coming from someone who just nearly died at the hands of a nobody Riku said. Get off his case you dick Zian said defending Naruto. Remember my training is not complete Naruto said. You still need to learn how to fight better with your keyblade, you cannot just rely on your ninja tricks Riku said to Naruto, he then looked at Zian, and if you're going to be traveling with us you need new cloths Riku said, he then raised his keyblade to the sky and summoned his S caliber gummy ship. Let's leave this place then, I know somewhere that can be of help to everyone Riku said. The three exited the gummy ship, instantly Naruto and Zian looked around seeing nothing but a bluish purple castle covered in stars and moons, the tower was surrounded by grass and trees other than that the area looked as if there was nothing ever there, where are we Naruto asked. They call this place the mysterious tower, home of the one and only Yen said Riku said, the trio walked forward, Zian then pulled the two behind a tree, look she said pointing to the front of the castle, it was a huge fat dog like creature, this guy Riku said with a very unenthused tone, Riku then stopped hiding and approached the dog creature, Naruto followed and then Zian. Hey pal Riku said patting the dog creature in the back. Who the fuck, before the dog can finish turning around he was punched in the face, the dog rolled back. What did you do that for the dog said, he then squinted his eyes and realized who just punched, ooh I remember you now, you're that scrawny little punk that tried to take me out back at Agrabah the dog man said. And your Maleficent's little lapdog, if I am not mistaken your name is Pete right? Riku said. Who wants to know? I swear I will tear you apart Pete said yelling uncontrollable, Naruto summoned his keyblade and pointed it at Pete, you want to try that again dog breath Naruto said, Pete then slowly moved back, he whistled and Heartless started to appear, Heartless squadron move out he said commanding the Heartless, Naruto went into his fighting stance and Riku and Zian did the same while summoning their keyblades. Naruto started the battle zipping through the Heartless with incredible speed, he cut dozen the Heartless with the strength of his keyblade. Casting fire he used it more like a machine gun and shot it rapidly at the heartless. Riku dashed through the heartless slashing and zipping through them with dark related attacks, he bashed went from shadow to shadow slashing each heartless with ease. Zian used her basic 5 way attack, heartless in the distant were striker raided by Zian's keyblade, thunder she shouted as a burst of thunder came from the sky and stoke all the heartless around her, in a few short seconds the heartless were no more, he got away. Naruto shouted. Never mind him let's go upstairs Riku said opening the door, Naruto and Zian both walked up the stairs, Riku stood there staring at Zian her fighting style is just like Sora's he thought. Riku are you coming or not Zian yelled, yeah Riku said walking up the stairs. They made it to the final floor, they opened the door to see a wise looking old man with a huge white beard and blue cloak, Riku immediately bowed to the man, Zian followed, Naruto just started waving hya old dude I am Naruto he said. Zian pulled Naruto down to the ground making him bow. If the two of us are bowing I would think it is obvious that you should follow Zian said. So you're Naruto, tell me have you met the king yet Yen Sid asked. 
I have bet my two friends haven't even met the king yet Riku said. I see Yen Sid then turned his attention to Naruto, you are the Jinchuriki Keyblader he said. Yes sir Naruto said not trying to sound stupid, you have a long journey ahead of you Yen Sid said he then turned his attention to Zian. You must be the runaway nobody Yen Sid said, yes my name is Zian. There is much you need to learn about yourself, unfortunately I cannot teach you, you will have to learn the lessons on your journey Yen Sid said. Zian nodded. Master Yen Sid I wanted to know what is Vanitas and his group of thugs trying to do? Riku asked. Unknown at the moment, but I can only assume it has something to do with Kingdom Hearts Yen Sid said. That is what everyone seems to be gunning for nowadays Naruto said. I have a question for you Naruto, how are you adapting to the Keyblade? Yen Sid asked. Pretty well so far although I cannot use any of my Kyubi powers Naruto said. Your Keyblade's power is conflicting with your Jinchuriki powers, since your Keyblade is one of light and your Jinchuriki is made one of darkness the two conflicts each other, however Yen Sid created a ball of light that looked like stars and crescent moons, he then bursted the blast towards Naruto's chest, Naruto's body radiated in grey like blue energy. This should balance you, you should be able to use some of your Kyubi powers now, but be warned use too much and you risk your heart getting closer to darkness, try your best not to rely on this power Yen Sid said. Thanks Naruto said, in the next room there are three good fairies, they should fit you two in with some new cloths Yen Sid said. Yeah I guess some new cloths will be great, we can't have Zian walking around like she's a part of the organization Naruto said. I guess you're right Zian said, both Naruto and Zian went in the next room, Riku stayed with Yen Sid, Riku sighed, Yen Sid the truth is I don't really know what to do anymore, when Sora was still around I was being taunted by Maleficent, now that he is gone I just don't know anymore. Naruto has a lot of potential and Zian fights just like Sora, but I am not sure if that will be enough to face all these dark forces. Maybe for once you need to do something that Sora would do Yen Sid said. What is that? Riku asked, just follow your heart Yen Sid said smiling. Riku sighed easier said than done. Naruto and Zian entered the room, they saw three fairies in the colors of green, blue, and red. Oh you two must be here for the new cloths said the red fairy. Yup Naruto said. Immediately the red fairy shot a red sprinkle at Naruto with turned his whole outfit red, the blue fairy then got mad and shot a sprinkle that turned it blue, the green fairy then got jealous and shot a sprinkle at Zian making her code green, this cycle went on for about 5 minutes. Any day now Zian said sarcastically, yeah would you hurry it up Naruto said, the three fairies then stopped and looked at each other, they then shot a beam at Naruto and Zian this created a puff of smoke that filled the room, the green fairy then opened a window. Thank you Naruto said exiting the room and trying to breathe the fresh air outside, Zian just bowed and exited although the fairies could not see it. Naruto and Zian then came out of the room, Naruto was wearing a long white opened long sleeved jacket with a tight black shirt, his hair was out and his headband was gone, he wore baggy white trip pants with many pockets and zippers, he was wearing a keychain that had the Konoha leaf symbol on it. Zian was wearing a dark purple jacket that had stars and crescent moons on it with silver arm gauntlets. She had a tight black jumpsuit that revealed some of her more womanly features, she was wearing a long dark blue dress with many stars. The dress only covered her right leg. So how do we look Zian asked, Riku looked over both Naruto and Zian, remarkable, knowing your style I am sure these cloths have certain abilities to them Riku said to Yen Sid. The powers of these garments will reveal themselves as you go on your journey, just remember to stay alert and be careful Yen Sid said, they started to leave but before that Naruto stopped. Yen Sid I have noticed that I have some sort of ability to sense people's auras, what is that all about Naruto asked. You're the first I have known to come across this power, I am not sure of its abilities but I can say this will help you know who to trust and who to look out for Yen Sid said. Naruto bowed to the man and started to exit, song end. The ability to sense auras and the power to use a keyblade of light despite having a being of darkness within, perhaps Jiraiya is right Yen Sid thought. Naruto and company exited the tower. Remember we need to set order to these worlds and at the same time get rid of these dark organizations Riku said. Not to mention we need to find this Ansem guy and take him out for good along with waking up Sora Naruto said. We have a long journey ahead of us, but if we all stick together we should be able to get through anything Zian said, the three then put their right hands in the middle. We can do this Naruto said, Zian unlocked, Star Seeker. Naruto unlocked, Crescent Moon, Design has a moon as the key part slim black blade with yellow handle and a crescent moon keychain. Ability. Increases magic along with aerial attacks. World that never was. 
Round Room Organization 13, Song. Ten of the twelve remaining organization members sat high in their chairs. It has been ten years since the Keyblade has made a difference, now a new hero walks the path of light said the bulky British one. As if, you forget that his little silver-haired friend walks closer to darkness said the cloaked Zigbar. Not only that, the puppet now has joined them said a member with an icy cold tone. Don't underestimate that puppet, she is truly something else, got it memorized Axel said he and Roxas being the only ones who were not wearing their hoods. Not only that but it was the hero of darkness that ended our good friend Lekos Roxas said unemotionally. I must say I am impressed with Naruto's growth so far, the fact that he can combine chakra and magic piques my curiosity, perhaps I should put more attention into these matters said the hooded scientist. Oh please this kid doesn't know what he's getting himself into, I say we skip the scenes and get straight to the action said a teenage sounding cloak figure. Such confidence you have, maybe you should go down there and take care of them yourself Zigbar said. Wait, what, no way it's not like that the cloaked teenager said trying to weasel out. Enough. Stop acting as if you give a shit, we feel nothing the bulky Zaldan said. Whoever does not apply with our mission shall be eliminated said the one with an icy cold voice. Saying things like that will only degrade our comrade Derry said the polite cloaked one. What are you trying to say Zexian the icy cold one said. I find it deplorable how you think everyone is disposable. It is that frame of mind that will get us all killed sakes Zexion said. I see no problem with my chain of thought, may I remind you that I am a higher rank than you Zexion sakes said. Speaking of higher rank have anyone seen Marluxia Axel asked. I sent him Castle Oblivion to occupy the castle and search for the hidden youth sakes said. It sounds like you just want him out of the way Zexion said, Zigbar started to chuckle. What's so funny Zigbar sakes said with a serious tone. You try to defend it but from where I stand Zexy is right, that's a bitch move Sakes Zigbar said lighting up a cigarette. Sakes looked at Axel and expected him to defend him but Axel did nothing. It's not like we can choose who gets eliminated, whoever is weak is weak and probably was not fit to be amongst our ranks anyway Roxas said coldly. Dom Roxas cold much Axel said, what can we say to those who are so weak to be eliminated so easy. I say good riddance we don't need the extra baggage holding us back. Lekos met his demise by not thinking of the third option, and Zian left because she felt unwanted, Zian and our two little friends will get their just desserts soon enough Roxas said with absolutely no emotion in his voice, Axel stared at Roxas Roxas surly has become a piece of work ever since he found out the truth, gee things are going to get even more complicated Axel thought. Perhaps the game will get more interesting, fate has dealt us a new hand and a new opportunity to obtain riches the cloaked British man said. Gentlemen. All the seeds have been put in place, now let the rain fall and form a shining future the bold leader said, all the members then teleported away. Our three heroes make their way inside a lavender blue castle, the hallways were filled with claw marks. This place is weird Riku said, does anyone have a clue where we are? Naruto asked. Beast castle Zian said, both Naruto and Riku turned their attention to Zian. When I was in the organization they sent me and Zaldan here for a con, unfortunately I don't know much about this place Zian said. I remember the beast I fought him back at Hollow Bastion, he and Sora made their way through Hollow Bastion to free the seven princesses of pure light Riku said. If Sora and beast were fighting to save the princesses then why would you fight against them? Zian asked. My past is, complicated, let's just say I made some mistakes Riku said his voice getting slightly lower, just then they heard a roar. What was that Naruto said immediately summoning his keyblade, using crescent moon, they started to move forward but were blocked off by heartless, large bodies, soldiers, and bulldogs. Zian summoned her star seeker and Riku summoned his way of the dawn. Let's take care of these losers first Zian said, they immediately went into battle, Naruto swung his keyblade at these creatures, more and more started to appear, Naruto then shot a fireball at it, he then realized that he can charge his magic spells with chakra. He charged his chakra and casted fire, this created a huge ball of fire that obliterated the heartless. Riku savagely slashed the heartless with nearly inhuman type speed, as soon as they appeared was as soon as they were sent right back to darkness. Zian used her basic Sora like combos, she then tried to jump and hit a large body but she was then bounced back, so these things are immune to attacks from the front, find I will just go around it then she thought, she rolled behind the large body only to be bitten by a bulldog. Damn these things are annoying Zian said. Need some help Naruto asked, no I can do it myself Zian said as she raised her keyblade in the air and created a powerful thunder spell that weakened the large bodies around her, 
Riku then quickly slashed through the large bodies. All right let's go Riku said, I said I had it handled and you had to go and waste away my enemies Zian said with an angry look on her face. Look don't argue just accept it for what it is and let's go Riku said, they then started to head to the left, Zian looked at Riku with an annoyed expression, um dumbass why are we going in the direction where we heard the roaring, we should at least check the west wing first, there are others who live here you know Zian said. Good idea however we can do without the sass Riku said firmly walking past Zian. What was that silver Zian said, can you two cut it out? We are on the same team so there should be no arguing, cut it out, Naruto shouted, Riku looked back at Naruto, tell her that he said calmly and then walked forward, Zian just stuck her tongue out like a child and walked forward, Naruto just put his hand over his head now I know how Kakashi sensei feels, this is how me and Sasuke used to act Naruto thought. Naruto learned. Charge fire shot west wing. Naruto Riku and Zian made their way to through the west wing, Ew, these statues always give me the creeps Zian said. What, it's not like these states are going to come to life and attack us Naruto said, they made it in front of a door, unbeknownst to them one of the statue's eyes glowed yellow. They opened the door to see a huge beautiful room, there was huge dresser in the middle of the room, from the looks of it a woman was hiding behind the dresser, Naruto smiled it's okay we mean no harm Naruto said, the woman slowly came from behind the dresser, she had brown hair in a bun and a long blue dress covered by an apron, Naruto's eyes widened this girl's aura as pure light, it is as if she has no darkness in her once so ever Naruto thought to himself. The brown haired girl stared at Riku in fear, you're the boy that overpowered beast and kidnapped me she said. Ma'am I am sorry for that, right now we are trying to help Riku said with the most censor look he can muster, Zian looked at Riku I knew he was a bad person, why I oughta end him right, Naruto patted Zian on the shoulder, she looked at him, why don't we have a talk outside he said, Naruto then looked at Riku, Riku I going to let you and this woman talk but right now I need to talk to Zian Naruto said, Riku nodded. Beast Castle Song and Zian Theme Song Naruto and Zian exited the room, what is it Naruto Zian asked. I know what you're thinking Naruto said, gee and what is that Zian said sarcastically. You don't trust Riku, you think he is evil Naruto said. He's a dick Zian said, I pretty sure he would say the same thing about you, to be honest the three of us are not so different, when I was younger people did not trust me and shunned me because I have a demon inside me. Riku did some things in the past and he is now trying to repent for his crimes, and you ran away from the organization because you felt unwanted, if you really look at it our past may be different but it is our past that brought us together Naruto said. I guess you're right, but I must tell you there is more to why I left Zian said, Naruto gave her his undivided attention, when I was looking through the files I found out that there was a plan to get rid of me or Roxas so there can be a primary keyblade master, I felt if I am this disposable then why bother, not to mention all of the members in there are fucking crazy deluded in the illusion of obtaining a heart Zian said. I am not sure but maybe the heart is not what makes us feel, I mean you're a nobody and you feel just fine Naruto said. I guess I so, I have no memories of my human life, when I was in the organization one of the members told me that me and Roxas are special nobodies. It is because we have a keyblade and that we can free hearts, but I think there is more to it, there is something that they are hiding and I want to know what it is Zian said. Naruto touched her shoulder, we will find out together but for now we need to be a team. My sensei once told me that teamwork and comrades are the most important things someone can have Naruto said. Zian stared deeply in Naruto's eyes, for teamwork's sake I will try to play nice Zian said. Zian's song and Riku then exited the room, so are you guys okay he said. Yeah we will be fine Naruto said, Bell told me what was going on. She said the beast has been acting strange ever since a cloaked stranger showed up, so crazy that he locked his friends in the dungeon. What we need to do is free them and try to get Beast back to his senses Riku said, they started to exit the west wing, they heard the sound of thumping, when they turned around they saw the statues glaring them down holding axes and sword, Zian stared at Naruto you just had to jinx it didn't you she said sarcastically. Naruto shrugged his shoulders and summoned his keyblade, he used his shadow clones to jump the statues, more statues started to appear from the shadows. Naruto then ran up to the heartless, they slashed some of the clones leaving only the original. A large body appeared and jumped on Naruto, before it can land it was destroyed by Riku slashing through it. Riku slashed through most of the appearing heartless. Zian had the most trouble with these creatures, she swung her keyblade damaging the heartless little by little but barely enough to truly defeat them, she then blasted a ball of lightning at one of the statues, she then used thunder to strike all the heartless around her, she then shot a blast of ice and eliminated the remaining heartless around her.
Naruto cut through the Heartless using a combo with two of his clones, in matter of minutes the Heartless were dealt with. Riku started to walk forward no turning back let's go he said, a large body then appeared getting ready to body slam Riku. Naruto then used a force of wind to push back the large body and keep it in the air. Naruto then cut through the Heartless destroying it. Riku looked at Naruto wow you just learned air magic and it was stronger than the average, you were able to push back a large body and keep it in the air, that's really something for a beginner Riku said. Naruto chuckled you forget Riku I am a fast learner Naruto said, they then made their way to the east wing. Riku then looked at Zian, not for noting but your offense can use work Riku said. What's that supposed to mean Zian said glaring at Riku. I think what he means is attacking isn't your strong point Naruto said. Okay geniuses then what is my strong point then Zian said glaring down Riku even more. Your magic Riku said as he continued to walk, Zian rolled her eyes, he is so annoying she said. But he is right, when you fight your magic is far more effective than your normal attacks, if you work on it more you should be a true force to be reckoned with Naruto said, Zian smiled at the boy then the two moved forward. Naruto learned. Arrow they stood in front of a door, Bell told me her friends are in here Riku said. He opened the door to see another door, on it was a statue of two golems, great another door Zian said, the golems started to come to life. I think this one's alive Riku said, god damn it does every fucking inanimate object in this castle have to be alive Naruto said not knowing the irony of that statement. You don't know that half of it Naruto Zian said, whatever let me us end this stupid door thingamajig and go on with the freeing of the friends and what not Naruto said summoning his keyblade. Riku quickly slashed through the door guard creature. He then shot a beam of light out f the tip of his keyblade with went in the middle of the door knob, the heartless creature then faded away. While you two were talking about destroying the creature I took the liberty to do so, now let us continue Riku said moving forward, Naruto then looked at Zian, you were right he is a dick Naruto said. Told you Zian said smiling and closing her eyes, nonetheless he is essential to the team Naruto said. Yeah, whatever Zian said rolling her eyes, Naruto and Zian entered the room. All they saw was a clock a candlelight a tie pot and a little cup. Where are the prisoners Naruto said, you're looking at them Riku said, the candle started to move, thank you miss here we are forever in your department the candlelight said. This is what I have been trying to tell you Zian said. Great I feel like I am in a fairy tale Naruto said. Well get used to it and fast, in these worlds you are going to come across weirder things than this Riku said. Zian rolled her eyes, hooray we're freaking ecstatic Zian said sarcastically. Speak for yourself, I actually like the idea of seeing more weird stuff like this Naruto said. Hey hey we are not weird, we were. The clock continued to talk until Riku cut him off. Yeah 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 cursed by a witch because the selfish prince would not stop his vain ways and if the rose petals run out he remains a beast whatever we don't have time to listen to things we already know we are here to save you bring the beast back to normal and defeat the organization member who is in the castle Riku said rudely, the objects glared at the silver haired male. Naruto put his hand behind his head, excuse him he's an ass hole but he means well Zian said sarcastically. Yeah this coming from an unwanted nobody who is only extra baggage on our journey Riku said spitefully. What did you call me Zian said getting in Riku's face. I don't repeat myself Riku said coldly, Naruto then went in between both of them and separated them, look I get it, you two don't like each other, suck it up already I am getting tired of seeing this pointless fighting. God damn it usually I am the immature one but you too take the cake Naruto said. Riku backed up, Naruto is right, this is pointless we should focus on the mission Riku said. Riku then brought his attention to the anatomic objects, now what's wrong with the beast Riku said uncaringly. All the items just stared at Naruto and company, well you two obviously have issues but the blonde seems trustworthy the clock said, Riku and Zian looked at each other and then turned away. The beast has been acting different ever since that coded man started to appear in the castle, he made it so Bell stays in her room and he locked us up, we need to get to him so he can come back to his senses the candle said. Is Bell his girlfriend or something? Naruto asked. Yes those two were made for each other, beast most be loved and love in return in order for the curse to be broken and for he and the rest of us go back to being human said the teapot. So she is the key Naruto said, yes but that being from the dark is making beast doubt himself said the candle. Then we will have to be the ones to bring him back to normal Naruto said, the three began to leave the room. Wait 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 the talking clock said hoping towards them, the three turned back and looked at the clock, I should come along so I can at least help the beast said the talking clock. Beast room. Through the ruined room stood a beast and a bulky cloaked figure, it's time we dealt with Bell, 
She is scheming to take everything you hold dear. This castle your precious rose and then your life the cloaked British man said. But Belle would never do that, would she? Beast said sadness rising in his voice. You have only known her for about a year. How do you know what she is doing behind your back? For all we know she is using those trinkets you call friends for more lustful needs said the cloaked man using his silver tongue to his advantage. What did you say Beast screamed swing his claw and breaking a glass. Did I touch a nerve? Beast I am not the enemy Belle is, she is playing games with your heart and you are too blind to realize Zaldan said. Is Belle that superficial beast said his voice getting sadder and darkness surrounding his whole body. Naruto and company bombarded in the room, you see she has brought accomplices the cloaked man said. Beast roared so loud that everyone who was in the castle heard him, easy big boy Naruto said. Dispose of them the cloaked man said teleporting away, the beast glared at his foes with darkness surrounding his whole body. Shit at this rate the darkness will fully overtake him Riku said. Don't worry we will find a way to stop him from getting consumed Naruto shouted. Song. Beast castle fight music. Dance of the daring. The beast charged at Zian. Zian pushed him back and created a barrier. Riku then took the change to slash beast right in his legs. Naruto then kicked him in the face. This raised the beast in the air. How you like this Naruto said creating three clones to grab the beast in midair. Naruto then appeared on top of Beast spiraling his keyblade down, Naruto's keyblade spiral barrage Naruto shouted, the clones then disappeared as Beast hit the ground, he had his foot on top of Beast, Riku shook his head, we was supposed to restrain him not kill him Riku said. Did I overdo it Naruto said, he got his answer for Beast got back up and slashed Naruto in the chest, he roared loudly as his body emitted a black darkness, from the shadows the cloaked man watched the confrontation, yes let your anger grow. Beast continued his assault on Naruto. Naruto tried his best to hold him back with his keyblade but to no avail. Zian shot a thunderblast at Beast. This shocked Beast and knocked on the ground but Beast quickly got up. It's no use his darkness is too strong. I guess I will have to use the powers of the dark if we're going to win this fight Riku said as he started to glow the same darkness that controlled Beast. The clock then jumped up at Beast and set off its ringer. Please master control yourself it said. The Beast held his head. Zian then looked at the clock, that's it I have a sweat idea she said, she then grabbed the clock and raised her keyblade to the sky, Beast ran forward to tackle her, she let a light out of her keyblade and the clock went off again, this created a wave of light and sound that vanished Beast darkness and sent him to the ground. Song ends Riku shut down his darkness, maybe she isn't completely useless he thought, the clock hoped up to the Beast, master are you okay he said, the Beast slowly got to his feet, he looked at Zian and saw Sora, Sora is that you he said. I am not Sora she said as she spoke the image of Sora faded from beast mind and he saw the girl for what she was. What happened? The beast asked, you were being misled and your own fears opened up your inner darkness Riku said to the beast. The beast then looked at Riku remembering him as the same boy who defeated him in hollow bastion, Riku he growled. We are here to help Riku said firmly, the beast then glared at Riku but he then let it slide. Someone was making you do this Naruto said, Zaldan the beast growled. I figured as much Zian said, he appeared from the darkness, he made me doubt myself and my friends, I put them in the dungeon so they can be safe from me Beast said. Zaldan is a member of organization 13, he is a spiteful despicable being full of hate, he was probably trying to make you doubt yourself so he can steal your heart and weep the benefits of you perishing, from the lustful look in his eyes I seen many times I will not put it past him that he was trying to sleep with Bell after you were out of the picture Zian said looking a little to the floor. That snake! Beast yelled. Don't worry he is still somewhere in the castle, we will find him Naruto said. Zian new moves reflect. Creates a shield protecting the owner and or the target. Sonic light. A move of high MP, creates a huge surrounding blast of light and sound. Ballroom. So beast you have allied yourself with these pathetic fools Zaldan said evilly. Zaldan beast yelled. What do you losers want anyway? Leave beast alone Naruto yelled. Kingdom hearts Zaldan said taking off his hood. He had a manly face with purple eyes and a menacing evil smile. He had pointy ears like an elf with earrings, his dreadlock ponytail blow backwards in the wind that came from the open front door, when kingdom hearts is ours we shall exist fully and completely, so you see beast that is why we need your heartless and your nobody, Zaldan then snapped his figures and a ball like heartless appeared with chains around it accompanied by dragon nobodies, Naruto and company summoned their keyblades. Looks like we have a fight on our hands Zian said getting into her fighting stance. Song. 
Dance of the Daring The Dragoon Nobodies flew toward Naruto, Naruto used his shadow clones, all of them used jump the dragoons in the dusk, the real Naruto dashed through the nobodies grabbing their lances and impaling them in the stomach, he did this to all the dragoon nobodies that approached him. Riku used his advanced speed to quickly end his foes. He did not know but a dragoon nobody was getting ready to stab him in the chest. Zian quickly moved in and used reflect to block the attack, she then surged her keyblade with electricity and strike raided the dragoon, more and more dragoons appeared. Zian and Riku looked at each other, we do this as a team Zian said, they both levitated in the air side by side spinning around and shooting out blast of light that eliminated all the enemies around them, same team attack Riku and King Mickey uses in Rei, chain of memories. Beast slashed through the nobodies with ease, he then jumped on one of the dragoons and used him as leverage to jump towards Zaldan, Zaldan. He shouted jumping towards him, HMPH Zaldan used the wind to push Beast back and sent him falling towards the ground. A beast such as you does not deserve happiness, now with your own apathy and self-hatred you bred a child of darkness Zaldan said with his hand glowing dark, a dark creature then started to take form from the ground, it was all black and beast like with red flowing hair, dark thorn, heartless boss in beast castle from KH2. Beast jumped back and got ready for battle, Naruto Zian and Riku got in front of him, the four of us fight these creatures as a team Naruto said. Dark thorn and the three dragoon nobodies all glared down. Beast charged in at the dark thorn grabbing it by the horns. Riku then came down and slashed the creature with a series of dark slashes. The dragoons surrounded Naruto, Naruto used his clones to grab their spears, he then charged the spears through the dark thorn's chest, the dark thorn retaliated by slashing Naruto with his dark claws, Zian then shot the dark thorn with three thunder shots, dark thorn clawed viciously at Zian, she could not fully block the attack for she barely had MP left. Riku came in and shot a dark Faraga at Dark Thorn. Beast then took the opportunity to maul down and destroy the Dragoon nobodies. The Dark Thorn then got up and roared. Naruto looked at the being of darkness. Time I put an end to you, Naruto said, running towards Dark Thorn. Dark Thorn then ran towards Naruto, grunting like an animal. How you like this ice burner? Naruto shouted as two clones appeared. One slashed Dark Thorn with a blade of ice, freezing it, the other with a blade of fire, scorching Dark Thorn. Dark Thorn now feeling the effects of hot and cold was put to an end when Naruto slashed through him with the final cut, Naruto and the others looked at Dark Thorn disappearing back to darkness. Song end it's finally over Beast said, so you think Zaldan shouted, he was now on ground level, he'll kill you Naruto shouted running towards Zaldan, Zian and Riku then appeared behind Zaldan. HMPH, Zaldan used the wind to push all three of them back, farewell he said teleporting away. Fuck he got away Naruto said, song, sadness and sorrow, Naruto soundtrack. Beast then held his arm, Bell and the others came to his aid, are you okay she said. I will be fine Beast said, Bell looked at Beast with deep compassion, Beast looked at Bell with a sad look on his face, Bell, about the last couple of weeks he said. What about them she said sounding as if she did not know what he was talking about. I am sorry for all I put you and the others through Beast said. You don't have to be sorry, it was all my fault to begin with Bell said. Don't blame yourself it was all my fault, if I had not have doubted you in the past then none of this would have happened, for now on I will never doubt you again Beast said. Naruto went up to Cogworks, we gotta get going, I want you and your friends to make sure those two take care of themselves Naruto said. Yes we will make sure the master and Bell is safe and even if we gotta bring the whole kitchen sink we will make sure Zaldan nor anyone else comes between them ever again Cogworks said. That's what I like to hear Naruto said, I have something to ask you Naruto Cogworks said. What? Naruto said, take care of your friends, it seems you're the only stable one in your group, keep the peace and make sure no one comes in your way Cogworks said. Yeah, will do, but for the record I am not all that stable myself Naruto said, the two started laughing. Will you come back someday? Cogworks asked, defiantly Naruto said as he began to exit the door, when he did he saw Zian and Riku arguing over something. Oh god not again Naruto said. Naruto Riku and Zian exited the gummy ship, good old Olympus Coliseum he home of tournaments Riku said with a relaxed tone of voice. You seem happy for once Naruto said, of course this place is one of my favorites, the tournaments are a good way to get some training in and learn some new techniques Riku said. Zian giggled I hope you keep it up silver I like this new transformation she said staring at him. Whatever Riku said walking inside the Coliseum. A short fat goat man turned around and saw the three, Ricky wow you look like you have been in top form the goat creature said. 
Ah, my name's Riku and yes Phil I have been keeping up with my training Riku said confidently. Good good Phil said as he turned his attention to Zian and Naruto. I take it these are your friends Phil said. Yeah I am Naruto I am Zian they look so flimsy and weak. I doubt they could even hurt a fly Phil spat. What did you say goat boy Naruto said. Yeah we're not weak Zian said. That's what they all say. But if you want to prove me wrong why don't you two take on my boy Herc Phil said. Who's Herc? Naruto asked. My protege and the strongest demigod you will ever see Phil said. He's not so tough Naruto said. Zian touched his shoulder. Easy Naruto we don't know anything about this Herc Zian said. No matter we got numbers on our side, the two of us can take down this Herc for sure Naruto said confidently. If that's your choice then go forward, I just have two words for ya, not good enough Phil said. Yeah whatever Naruto said walking through the door, Zian followed, they entered the arena to see a buff man with reddish hair and Greek armor doing push-ups, the large man stopped what he was doing and looked at the girl and saw his friend from long ago. Sora the large man said, Zian had a confused look on her face, Hercules then noticed that it was not Sora instead it was a girl. Um, I am Zian she said, wow I really need to get my eyes checked, for a minute I thought you were someone else, I am Hercules the large man said extending his hand for a handshake. Zian shook his hand, hi Herc I am Naruto the cheery blonde said. Nice to meet you too, so I can guess that Phil put you two up against me Hercules said. Yep Naruto said, alright then Hercules said flexing his muscles, get ready. Riku sat in the audience, wow those two do not what they're getting themselves into said a beautiful woman with long brown hair wearing a long pink dress sitting next to him. I would not count those two out, they're pretty strong Riku said defending his friends. Are those friends of yours or something the maiden said. You could say that, I assume you are an accountant of Hercules Riku said. It's more to it than that we are dating the maiden said. So you're dating Zeus son that must be some accomplishment Riku said. We went through a lot together it's complicated the maiden said. I understand Riku said, I am Megari but my friends call me Meg and you. I am Riku he said calmly being a little intimidated by her beauty, strangely enough Riku felt as though he can relate to her in some way. This is sure going to be something Riku said looking at the match that was about to begin. The fight began with Hercules charging forward with both his arms out trying to close line both of our heroes. Naruto created a clone and started to charge his Rasengan, look Zian I plan to end this quick, I need you distract him for me Naruto said, Zian nodded but that gave Hercules time to knock her in the back of the head, he then charged at Naruto, one of Naruto's clones came diving down with its keyblade facing down while on fire. Hercules jumped in the air and bashed the clone to the ground. Hercules was then surrounded by Naruto's clones. All right big guy you are going down all the Naruto's said at once. They all charged in jumping Hercules, punching stabbing and slashing Hercules. So you want to play hardball Hercules said, he then put his arms up to his side and started spinning. In every direction was noting but Naruto's clones disappearing at the wrath of Hercules spin attack. Hercules then looked at Naruto who was charging his Rasengan, he briskly walked to him, Zian used a thunder spell but it did not affect the demigod, he turned around to see the weakened girl, he smiled and charged forward, Zian waited until he got close she then rolled out of the way and jumped and then thunder strike raided Hercules in the back of the head, this made the demigod stumble, now she shouted, Naruto then charged at Hercules, how you like this Rasengan? Naruto shouted hitting Hercules in the chest, Hercules face swirled in pain but he grabbed Naruto's arm, this made Naruto's eyes widened, Hercules then threw Naruto to the gate making him crash. He then dust the dirt off of his chest and charged forward, Zian got in his way and shot a thunder blast but it did nothing, he knocked Zian out of the way and went straight for Naruto, a block of smoke came from the ground, out from it came a blue skinned man with blue flaming hair and a black toga. Ah wonder boy so how have life been treating you said the burning man. Hades Hercules spat. Riku immediately jumped from his seat into the ring, why don't you go back to the underworld and leave everyone alone Riku said summoning his way of the dawn. Wow Riku you surly have grown, I remember when you were three inches taller and complaining about your little boyfriend cheating on you with a duck and a dog Hades said insulting Riku. You bastard Riku shouted as he ran towards Hades slashing him, Hades disappeared into smoke and reappeared behind Meg, no 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 try and hurt me and I flame the girl Hades said. What do you want anyway Hercules said, Naruto appeared behind Hades trying to slash through him but Hades blasted the clone, he then set fire to the audience killing 5 people, why is it always the heroic types that are the stupid ones Hades said holding Meg. Why you Naruto shouted, let's be civil about this Riku said. 
But we can't just let Hades hurt all these people Zian said. Ah yeah if no one retaliated in the first place I would not have to go to these extreme measures Hades said. Now where was I oh yeah Herkster I want you to give up your powers permanently or else I will destroy this city and everyone in it including your little beat piece Hades said. I can take down whatever you throw at me Hercules said. If you say so Hades said snapping his figures, nine blocks away was a huge explosion caused by Cerberus breathing fire, you see I knew you would say something like that which is why Cerberus just ended one of your precious cities, if you would like to keep up with this I can have another one destroyed Hades said. Herc don't do it, we can take him Naruto said, I must Hercules said sounding defeated, good choice Hades said pulling out a stone, the stone drained Hercules of all his energy making him skinny and frail, are you happy Hades Hercules said almost but something's missing Hades said as he grabbed Meg, I am taking the girl he said puffing away thanks for watching that for today.